All right, Nucci's and Nuchets, welcome back to Come Get Some. We have been on sabbatical for a long period of time. The professor here was uh, scoping the uh, the Himalayas and the uh, the pyramids of Goza. Giza, Giza, that's it. That Goza, <laughs> Goza, Giza. <laughs> His condition has worsened, and now he's back to hang out with Dr. Rips. Come get some wrestling news. Uh, here we are the week before the Royal Rumble, and we could not have come back at a better time because we have our Royal Rumble preview show today, which we actually have not even spoken about <laughs> or since we're so out of whack right now that we've done everything except prepare for a Royal Rumble preview show, which this should be. So we'll kind of just go by everything. We're going to go over Raw and SmackDown last week, go through the um, news and rumors that are circulating, and there's a lot. We've been gone for quite a while here, so there's been a lot of things that have happened, and most notably... Yeah. My religion has changed. Yes, that's right. What are you, what are you practicing now? Everything. Uh, I'm a Jedi. <laughs> See? See? You got... <laughs> that's weird, because... I, do, I just used the giant mind trick, but it ended up choking you. <laughs> it did. Force choke. I don't, I don't know what happened. Um, either way, we are back, guys. We, uh, we know you missed us, so we're going to get right to it. Last week, Raw started out with Raw General Manager Kurt Angle firing <laughs> Braun Strowman, um, which is kind of weird because you know, obviously, the guy's not fired. Braun goes into a fit of rage and pretty much destroys everything and everybody that comes in his path until finally he is hired back and put back into the triple threat match. Uh, with Kane and Brock Lesnar yeah. at the Royal Rumble. Um, Braun Strowman, what are we thinking here? Uh, I have to say, that chocolate cake guy, if you guys remember? Yes. That was probably yeah. the funniest thing I've seen. Yeah, that was pretty funny. That was, they were time. stuck in a minute. I thought, yeah, it was, yeah. I thought he was going like, <laughs> to slap it into the yeah. guy's face or he something. Just took, but it, just took it and took it. I just um, love how that guy was frozen. Yes. <laughs> and we're going to get to some rumors that we've been hearing about this triple threat match uh, at the Royal Rumble, but we're, we'll get through Raw first. Titus World... Worldwide. <laughs> Worldwide actually defeated Cesaro and Sheamus again because of Jason Jordan's interference. Now, Jason Jordan's got a little bit of an injury, so they're probably just kind of um, getting him on TV in a way that would make him still be uh, antagonistic and have yeah. Rollins and him bicker. That's weird. He interfered with my lunch today. He, he just slapped us. He just came out, and he was almost like when he <laughs> threw all the vegetables at Elias that that's time. That's my tuna. Yeah, I mean, clearly to me, this looks like it's going somewhere, obviously, where... Seth Rollins and, and he break up. I'm thinking it's going to lead to a match at WrestleMania with Kurt Angle, but I don't know how yet, but we'll see if that happens. Um, Cedric Alexander defeated Tony <laughs> Nese because Enzo... Citrus Alexander? Citrus <laughs> <laughs> Juice Robinson. Um, Toby Neebs, what? <laughs> <laughs> Toby Neebs uh, with his 12-pack abs. Um, yeah, Cedric Alexander defeats Tony Nese. Um, then would have his, uh, his Cruiserweight Championship shot. Um... Again, I heard that the 205 Live guys did their first live shows over the weekend, and they went really well, actually. Uh, crowds were great, almost like an NXT crowd. So I hope that continues. I heard it was much different than the 205 Live show, which sucks. So, um, I'm sorry. Yep. Uh, we had an interesting match with the women. Asuka defeated Nia Jax via match stoppage mm -hmm. when it looked like Nia Jax could not compete anymore because of her leg. What did you think of I, this one? I thought that was a good sell. I liked the match, and I liked the, the sell of it. it. You know, it made me question, was she hurt or not? Or Right. Maybe she's pulling an Enzo. She's learning some yeah. Enzo's tricks. Who knows? Because the same thing happened to Enzo, yeah. kind of, with... In his match with Cedric Alexander before that, so yeah, it's um, actually interesting to see either girl hurt, like you know, yeah, getting yeah. beat up. You know, like you don't see well, many people beat up Asuka. Too. Right, and clearly they're not going to make Asuka lose. Um, Asuka, you know, they're not going to make her lose, and I guess at this point they want to keep building Nia Jax as well. So, I guess a good finish in a way that they didn't really hurt anybody. You know, Nia Jax got a lot of offense in. Asuka didn't lose, so. Uh, we'll see. WWE paid tribute to Dr. Martin, to Dr. Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. Yes. Um, which was a beautiful tribute as usual. The Revival beat a couple local competitors. And interesting, afterwards, they kind of did some taboo stuff in a promo mentioning how they're professional yeah. wrestlers. They're not uh, <laughs> superstars or whatever you call them. Well, K-Fabe. Like, <laughs> it, it was a little K-Fabe. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, I mean, so that's interesting. I'm sure that they got the go-ahead. Otherwise, they wouldn't have done that. But <laughs> otherwise, you know, if they did, then they got some a big set on them. Um, I keep on, every time I hear the revival, I just want them to be in a tent and heal people. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm waiting for. Go go that angle. <laughs> You're healed. Woo! Beat people up and heal them. A lot of spiritual music. Um, so we'll see what happens with them if they're... If they to disc. You get, <laughs> healed. If they, if they get thrown into the... Uh, the tag team title picture, uh, which they should right. be eventually. 
Intercontinental Champion Roman Reigns uh, defeated the Miz Taraj in a one-on-two handicap oh, match. Man. Big friggin' whoop. Um, you don't bring two cats to a dog fight. Hey, listen, That's not in his thing. yard. No, no, not at all. Um, clearly, obviously, leading up to this Intercontinental Championship match at the Raw 25 this week. Um, so, interested to see whether or not uh, the Miz takes the title back from Reigns before the Rumble. Uh, we'll see if that happens. So, uh, most... Uh, Surprising thing of the night, Sonya Deville beat Sasha Banks, but beat her yeah. clean, yeah. Um, which was shocking to me. Paige was out there. Yeah. Obviously, it's been revealed that she's got a career-ending injury, but they haven't really acknowledged that on TV at all, other than to say that she's not going to be in the Royal Rumble. But she still yeah. came out last week in full outfit, did the same thing she's been doing, so they really haven't just acknowledged this injury as a whole. So I'm thinking either it's it's not as bad as they say and they're still holding out hope, or they're just waiting until maybe after the Royal Rumble or another time to kind of announce that she's uh, that she's done wrestling. But uh, that would suck if she couldn't wrestle anymore, obviously. Yeah, pretty bad. Um, they seem to be building up Sasha Banks, especially they did the mixed match challenge last week for the first time, and her and uh, Finn Balor won their match. But yet she loses clean to Sonya Deville, who's pretty much a rookie, so that was kind of surprising. What, is, what say you? Uh, you know, I thought, it was, yeah, it was, it was a surprise, which is why I sort of liked it, because it was a surprise, you know. And, and I actually I like everybody in absolutely. Mm-hmm. You know, Paige, of course, but, uh, you know, Sonia Deville, there's a Sonia or Sonia? Sonia, I guess, yeah. yeah. She's got this whole kind of gladiatrix type thing going, which I think is a good thing. She's a uh, MMA fighter, yeah. MMA yep. fighter, and she looks it, so, you know, I, I yep. think it's kind of cool. And Mandy Rose, too, is cool. Yep, absolutely. From, uh, from my home county of Westchester in New York, Mandy Rose, so we'll keep an eye on that situation. Woken Matt Hardy defeats Heath Slater. Now, obviously, for months and months and months, we've been clamoring for the broken gimmick. Um, WWE said screw Anthem and we're going to go with our own kind of thing and they started this Woken character now the first time they showed it was amazing when Matt Hardy um, <laughs> kind of interrupted Bray Wyatt it was the best and instead of going with something different the next week they tried to do that again because it was popular and it failed <laughs> and a lot of the things that they've done so far failed not because of Matt Hardy um, just because of the positioning of the way that they've been doing things it's like a laugh off every week it is I mean you know they get in the ring with each other and they're face to face and one's going oh Oh, and the other one's going, <laughs> and it's like, and then they just go to commercial. So it's like, <laughs> what, what the hell are they doing? Also, you know, they haven't kind of, inter- they've, they've got the, the character going. They haven't integrated any of the other characters, uh, such as his wife, Rebby, her father, Senior Benjamin. Obviously, when Jeff comes back, he'll be in it somewhere. His son, uh, King Maxwell. Um, they haven't done anything really outside of either the ring or like a vignette that looks like it's just kind of yeah. like even where we're standing right here. Um, nothing from his home compound. He's kind of done that stuff on his own. So a lot of the elements to the broken character have not been shown yet, which is a good thing and a bad thing. Um, glad the last couple of weeks he's actually been on TV yeah. showing, you know, he wrestles when he wrestles, he bites people. It's just like he did. He's doing all the mannerisms. He's, he's doing all the right things. Um, it's almost like they're positioning Wyatt in a strange and stupid way. Um, you know... <laughs> It just doesn't make sense to me a lot of the things that they're doing and, and they're pushing off this feud to a pay-per-view that they're not going to have a match at either. So um, I'm not sure. What do you think of what's going on with the, the Woken Broken character? Uh, I feel like there needs to be a skeleton playing a piano. <laughs> <laughs> I like the new music. I, the music is great. The, mu- they, the they same did music or is it different? Well, he used to come out to, a, I believe it was a Beethoven song. Beethoven, yeah. um, and when he came out at one of the live events recently, I think it was at Madison Square Garden, he came out to the Beethoven song. But nonetheless, I mean, they did a classical version, and it's got some, like, you know, beat to it. So it's not a... I, I like the song. I actually yeah. think it's great for him. He comes out perfectly. He's doing he's doing the right things. I think from all the stuff I've been reading, they haven't really scratched the surface yet of everything, oh, yeah. and maybe it's just the beginning. Another interesting thing is, though, in this period of time, since they've been doing the Woken character, um, they've acquired the rights to do the broken stuff from Anthem and TNA, and they've had talks with them and everything is squashed apparently so they can go yeah. forward and kind of do whatever I was even reading something today where he said we haven't even begun to do anything yet so I just wish that they would bring some of the elements that they had in TNA I'm imagining that they're going to do some kind of um, final deletion kind of thing <laughs> where it's like filmed somewhere else and it's um, you know maybe with Bray Wyatt maybe without who knows he even made a, a reference today about how if he goes into the lake of reincarnation he might come <laughs> out as Husky Harris his original character so we're going to keep an eye on obviously my favorite thing going right now Matt Hardy but um, my favorite thing going not so much going the way it's going I don't know if that makes sense Th- my favorite character um, if done right but so far not completely done right so we'll see if yeah. they can 
to get that going. What is done right, though, is my man Elias. And they need to keep building this guy. He hasn't really done much lately other than kind of introduce the Miztourage. His song <laughs> last week was hilarious. He keeps impressing me every single week. Um, and I think he can be a major, major player. And I think they're giving him a shot. Samoa Joe got hurt a couple weeks ago. He started doing some kind of a... Um, a program with Cena, or challenging Cena, or saying that at the Royal Rumble he's going to be gone. Then he got hurt. Now it looks like they're putting Elias in that spot to have some kind of an altercation with Cena at the Rumble. So definitely going to keep an eye on Elias. I know he's your favorite too right yeah, now. Yeah, he's definitely. Proud of all the new guys. I mean, not counting Matt Hardy. Right. Who's kind of like an old guy becoming a new guy. His condition. Condition. Just show him from the top of Giza, like he says. It's it's just, you know, wonderful. Wonderful. Um, Raw Tag Team Champion Seth Rollins beat Finn Balor, rematch of the that Universal Championship match. A great match. Um, again, you know, Jason Jordan, very annoying, but playing his role really well, and I can see oh, yeah. kind of where it's going. You know, he's playing that, that he's supposed to be a baby face, but he's the annoying baby face, and which makes him a heel in a way, um, but still associated with the, the baby faces. So eventually he's going to turn, and, and when he does, it'll be great. But didn't the curb stomp return? It did. The curb oh, stomp man. did return last week. I'm not sure. It looks painful. You know, they, and, they pl and going off the air, they really played up the fact that Balor was kind of out of it. So I don't know if it was because they're doing an angle where Balor kind of snaps and, you know, him in the club becomes heels. Or if it's just they're trying to sell that curb stomp as like a really kick-ass move, which it is. Yeah, which, yeah, yeah. Um, but then they, they banned it, though. Because yeah, Vince did people? because I guess it was a real violent thing. But, you know, listen, nothing goes on without Vince's approval. So we'll see what uh, happens with that. Are we slowly turning back to the Attitude Era? <laughs> That'd listen, be great. Give, me, give me the Attitude, man. I'll take that. Um, back over to SmackDown. Um, we had the semifinals of the uh, United States Championship Tournament since Dolph Ziggler a couple weeks ago seemed to relinquish it after he won it. Um, I actually went to a house show the night after he won it, and he defended it. Um, so I guess they're, you know, they're going with an angle that uh, he's apparently going to come back soon and challenge, I guess, Bobby Roode or whoever I has I thought it. he was just walking the earth. Yeah, he's, just, he's, he's the new drifter. He's going to come out with a beard yeah. and he's going to say he's Elias. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but Jinder Mahal beat Xavier Woods in the second round. Um, that was the first match of the tournament. And then Bobby Roode defeated Mojo Raleigh in the, in the second round as well. So that was going to be the finals for yeah. next week. Originally set for the Royal Rumble, however, Daniel Bryan comes out. Makes the match for yeah. tonight. Um, I don't know if I like Mojo's new music. Is that new music? Yeah, it's, it's like it's, clown music. It's though. weird. <laughs> yeah, Mojo, and Mojo pretty much, he's wearing the same stuff. Yeah. He's just a, a, you know being a jerk now. Five-hour energy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, He's got about a 40-hour energy he going. Should, he should start talking like the Micro Machines guy. <laughs> <laughs> so does Mojo. Sold separately. Mojo Raleigh. You just say Mojo. Big yellow tights. Uh, the Riot Squad defeated Charlotte Flair, Naomi, and Becky Lynch. Um, you know, obviously, they're trying to build up the Riot Squad. To me, yeah. Riot Squad is a poor man's absolution. <laughs> Uh, I don't I, think they're I like as talented. I do too. The problem is, I I don't. I'm not a big Liv Morgan fan. I think she's a very pretty girl, but as far as wrestling skills, you know. I thought she had a. She had this move though that she I did have a. Yeah, she where had. She like ducked like Matrix. Yes. ducked. I thought that was awesome. She's she's Enzo's ex girlfriend. She's very athletic, we all but are. not yeah. <laughs> She's very athletic, but I don't know. She's not my favorite yet. Sarah Morgan's definitely got a good, like, kind of grizzly yeah, bear look. And I, I feel like she could be, like, a female Stone Cold because she looks like, you know, like, I'm going to run you over with my pickup she truck. Right, yeah, right now you she know? reminds me of the Berserker. I'm going to uh, drink <laughs> Berserker. <laughs> she's the female Berserker. But I like Ruby Riot. I think she could yeah, be good. Yeah, she's but, very good. Um, you know, sometimes less is more. You don't need, you know, and if, I feel like the, every week it's the same thing. Yeah. The three of them against three SmackDown girls and, you know, Eventually, it's going to go to the Royal Rumble, and they're they're going to do their thing, and then hopefully at the end of this, they, they can be a faction, but they don't always need to wrestle together. Yeah. Um, well, I, you know, I think Liv Morgan, uh, she's really good with this whole, like, evil cheerleader thing she's mm -hmm. got going on, but I feel like it's almost too close to Alexa Bliss. Well, that, and that was a thing that they had a, a little Twitter war going, because she had the tips of her hair colored, and yeah. Alexa said something about it, and Nia Jax said something, and... And then she made a comment like, oh, you're going after my sloppy seconds, meaning Enzo. But, I mean, that's a storyline thing. So, uh, good they comeback, but not really, uh, you know, whatever. They should just make her a pirate. <laughs> no, I mean, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> not, not like a full... Arr, Liv. <laughs> yeah, Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan. Captain... Cap that's what I said. Captain, Captain Morgan. Morgan. Captain you know, Morgan. But, like, that... I'm not talking, like, full-on pirate, but, like, that, that swagger that Jack Sparrow has where he don't care, like, you know. Well, maybe, maybe that's a good idea. Well, something or different, you know. She is very like close to. Uh, I will agree with you. She is very close to, um, she's to like, Alexa yeah, Bliss. She's like a taller Alexa, Alexa Bliss at this point. But 
Um, hijinks continue between Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, Shane McMahon, and Daniel Bryan and AJ Styles. Uh, you know, coming up on a handicap match. Obviously, all the odds are against AJ, even though we know he's going to win. Um, but yes, <laughs> I, th- I think so. We'll, we'll make our prediction soon. Um, so we uh, go into the main event, which was Bobby Roode versus Jinder Mahal. Pretty good match, actually. I think Jinder's really improving yeah. in the ring. Um, you know, he's really coming into his own. And, and I was thinking that he was going to win this because it would be perfect kind of setup for him. He was just champion. Okay, give him the U.S. title. Now he's got to, re- you know, get a lot of heat. He's, he's the Indian guy with the U.S. championship. He was just the champion. Give him a belt right a- away again. But Bobby Roode wins. I can't really argue with it. He's a great wrestler. He's a great competitor. And... Um, so Bobby Roode Glorious. is your new, um, your new United States champion. Uh, mixed match challenge, as we mentioned earlier. Um, Who won that again? Finn Balor and uh, Sasha Banks beat uh, Shinsuke and Natalia, which was pretty cool to see Finn and Shinsuke fight each other again. Finsuke. Finsuke. Well, that's that would be a natural tag team name, you know. <laughs> or um, yeah, Finsuke Balor. So that was pretty cool to see. Um, couple of things that we've been hearing. First of all, obviously, uh, mentioned the Elias and Samoa Joe thing. Uh, first of all, CM Punk looks like he's getting primed to fight somebody else they haven't announced who yet. UFC? Or? UFC. Yeah. Um, Jack Gallagher said he would do it. He's got two, <laughs> two free minutes. <laughs> so um, that was pretty funny. But um, Maybe if he had his umbrella. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, knock him right out. Yeah, I think Punk could probably take him. I think so. Um, Enzo Amore apparently um, at some point... I don't know if it was this weekend or today, uh, is being accused of rape by a girl on Twitter. Um, not sure the validity of this, um, but basically says that there were drugs involved and that there were two of his friends there that could have stopped it and didn't. Um, clearly, if there's an issue going on, as a la Rich Swan, um, the WWE will do its due diligence, and if there is an issue, uh, we probably won't see much of him anymore. Um, we spoke about the page injury, um, and let's see, we spoke about... Uh, Matt Hardy. Now, before all these events go on, there's always these betting odds that come out of Vegas. Um, Originally, Shinsuke was the favorite to win the Royal Rumble, followed by like Dolph Ziggler and Cena, uh, Roman Reigns, and a couple other guys. Uh, Interestingly enough, in the last week, that has turned, and the favorite to win the Royal Rumble right now seems to be Daniel Bryan. Now, first of all... Wait a minute. He's not clear, as, as far as I know, or what I've read, he's not been cleared yet, but there has been some talk of him possibly being cleared, um, especially by him. He wants to be cleared. <laughs> he clears himself. He, he, yeah, he's been cleared <laughs> by his own doctor, so he said that if he doesn't <laughs> Dr. wrestle... Dr. Brian? Dr. Brian, <laughs> Dr. Danielson. Um, <laughs> just be him with, like, glasses and, like... Oh that's a new character. You know, clipboard. Um, the doctor. Yeah, he's, um, he's cleared by all his doctors. WWE guys won't clear him. And he basically said that if he's not cleared to wrestle by WrestleMania, he's probably going to be out of there so he can wrestle in Ring of Honor, New Japan, and he will make tons and tons and tons and tons of money. Um, so if WWE, you know, I understand why they're doing what they're doing, but, I mean, man, if he's going to wrestle somewhere else anyway, you might as well be with WWE. Yeah. Let him win the Rumble and have him fight AJ Styles, and you got the match of the century. Um, you know, there's a lot of ways you could do it. Obviously, they're they're looking to set up a Shinsuke versus AJ match. So I'm, I'll make my predictions for the Royal Rumble uh, a little in a few minutes. But um, nonetheless, another interesting character that may be debuting. Um, I'm not sure how familiar you are with this man. Is um, at the Royal Rumble. He just left TNA. He was their world champion. He was a former WWE wrestler uh, for NXT, and that would be EC3, the former Derek Bateman. EC3, are you familiar with him? Is that a name, or is that like some sort of a Comic Con? <laughs> He's a EC- robot from Star Wars. <laughs> EC three PO. EC three PO. EC three was a was a wrestler named Derek Bateman who had a great great build, great body, had wacky fro going on. Um, really didn't do much with him. He went over to TNA, uh, cut his hair, and he became the spoiled nephew of Dixie Carter, who was their Vince McMahon at the time. Not so much Vince, but so he's like he Jason was the Jordan. owner. Well, he's like the Jason he's, He was her nephew, and oh. he's spoiled with suits and everything. So EC3 stands for Ethan Carter the III. Um, he just left TNA last week. Rumors are that he's already at the WWE Performance Center. Not sure if he's going to debut in the Royal Rumble or not, but we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. He's just having coffee there. He's, not really he's just hanging out. Yeah, yeah he just wanted to talk that. to a couple of the guys. Uh, um, and a couple of the guys that are there now um, would be three, well, four of the most sought-after talent in the world. Uh, especially one of them. Um, 
War Machine, Candice LeRae, the wife of Johnny Gargano, and uh, King Ricochet, aka Prince Puma. Ricochet, one of the number, one of the, the top wrestlers independent in the world. I know you're probably not too familiar with him, but this guy That's is good. an absolute maniac. He is an unbelievable wrestler. A little undersized, but built, but does some of the most amazing <laughs> stuff. Undersized, but he has a large head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's got big toes and elbows. One big finger. Yeah. <laughs> small this, thumb. this guy is. Um, this guy is amazing. Um, <laughs> if you've ever seen his any of his matches with Will Osprey, um, or any of his matches in Osprey, Lucha that's a bird. <laughs> um, <laughs> either way, Candice LeRae, one of the top talent uh, women. Uh, she was most notably tag teaming with Joey Ryan, the the uh, fake porn star on the Independent. So, um, War Machine, very reminiscent of the Bludgeon Brothers or Heavy Machinery mm -hmm. in in NXT. So. Um, also all four Marvel character. Dude, these guys, all Never four seen. of them are going to blow everybody's minds. Um, one of the things I've been hearing a lot about is this, all of a sudden, this WrestleMania shakeup. For the, almost the entire year, all we've been hearing is Lesnar <laughs> versus Reigns, Lesnar versus Reigns, okay? Now, all of a sudden, there's, because somebody leaked a picture, it looks like Braun Strowman <laughs> is going to win the title this weekend. Really? Um, there was a picture of him for upcoming promotions for the uh, Elimination Chamber where he's holding the title. And Brock Lesnar's in the match, and I think even Big Cass was in the Elimination Chamber match, which is the pay-per-view right before WrestleMania. Huh. The arena leaked it, and it has Braun Strowman with the belt. Now I'm starting to even hear that Bobby Lashley from MMA, TNA, former WWE uh, ECW champion, he may be coming back, and he may be taking on um, uh, Lesnar at WrestleMania. Um, and this just in... WWE has suspended top wrestler champ Enzo Amore indefinitely oh. after allegation of rape services on Twitter. So it's obviously being taken seriously by WWE, and he will be suspended, which is going to be horrible for him. Um, maybe everybody's kind of happy about this because everybody hates him, and um, you know this would be his kind of way of them. Even though he sells merchandise and he's popular with some fans, this would be a good way to get rid of him if they really wanted to. Um, so we'll see what happens with the triple threat match, by the way. Um, Les Lesnar last year. Alberto, Alberto Del Rio apparently has apologized to Triple H and WWE for all the things he's saying. Pretty much saying he was brainwashed by Paige and her family. He's on good terms with them now, and he says he absolutely will be back at some point before he retires to uh, to do something special with them. Um, and finally, one of the biggest stories um, coming, and that hasn't really garnered much coverage, you know, because probably. Who knows the validity oh, of it? Vulcan. Uh, but Richard Rodriguez, who was. Um, who was caught for selling steroids in an illegal drug ring, uh, has named Roman Reigns as one of the main people that he supplied his uh, steroids to. Uh, Reigns says he's never met the guy. He has no idea what he's talking about. The guy is in jail, and, you know, he's already given up uh, some other names, some actors, I believe, like, like Mark Wahlberg and some other guys. So uh, Roman Reigns was the most prominent name, and Reigns denies it all. So clearly nothing's been done to him. He was suspended. Uh, was it last year? They said it was yeah. for Adderall, though. The wellness. Uh, yeah. So uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that one as well. Um, but clearly he's the golden child, so they would really hate to see anything happen to him. Um, lastly, Raw 25, the 25th anniversary, seems to be the most loaded show in history. It's going to emanate from both the Manhattan Center and Bur uh, the Brooklyn Barclays Center. Like I said, I thought this was the Royal Rumble. <laughs> yeah, I got a list of all the people who are going to appear, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read them off to you quick. Um... We've got Stone Cold, we've got Teddy Long, The Undertaker, John Cena. Uh, interesting enough, Undertaker and John Cena looks to be tonight at some point probably going to set up their WrestleMania match. Oh. Uh, that's been the rumored. Wait that's, he's coming back? Yep. Taker is going to probably fight Cena and we'll probably see something um, start tonight or whenever we were watching this, uh, whenever Raw was for you. Um, Brother Love will be back. John Laurinaitis, Godfather, oh. X-Pac, Shawn Michaels, and New Age Outlaws, and Triple H with the X. Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, Ric Flair, Mean Gene. Mean Gene. Um, He's alive? He is. I was wondering he is. where he He's was. got. We had this weird thing going on, man, when I was watching him on this uh, Legend sh House show on, on WWE Network, and he's got, like, one normal hand, and his other hand looks like, like somebody stuck an inflatable inflation needle in him and it's just like blown up so it's oh. probably he's got something going on but Mean Gene is a classic man it reminds me of my Gene. childhood um, speaking of childhood you got Jim Ross and Jerry Lawler calling it from the Manhattan yes. Center tonight which will be awesome some returning divas uh, Jacqueline Tori Wilson Michelle McCool Kelly Kelly Terry Runnels Maria Canellis, who's pregnant will be there uh, the Bellas will be there and then some more 
uh, legends such as uh, the Boogeyman, <laughs> uh, who eats worms. Um, MVP, who I'm looking forward to seeing, haven't seen him in a while. Howard Finkel and Harvey Whippleman, Brett the Hitman Hart. Interesting enough, Chris Jericho will be there, even though right now he's wrestling for New Japan and had that monster match with Kenny Omega. Um, the uh, the Dudleys will be there. JBL and Ron Simmons, the APA. Eric Bischoff, which should be interesting. Sergeant Slaughter, the Million Dollar Man. William Regal, Christian, Jonathan Coachman, and more. So it's a loaded ass show tonight, boy. Oh, yeah. And um, I'm looking forward to it just to see how they're going to fit all these people in a three hour show. Um, a couple quick things. Braun Strowman ate his own beard in a psychotic fit of rage last week uh, after Raw went off the air in front of everybody. What did you think of that one? Oh my God, it's bloody. I love it. <laughs> Delish. Vince watches in sun silence. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. Um, Shinsuke Nakamura ate an egg for the first time. He's now in a coma in the hospital, so we pray for his recovery uh, because we are quickly going to do our Royal Rumble um, preview. Now, um, we've got the tag team championships between The Bar and Seth Rollins and Jason Jordan. Who are you going with on this one, Professor? Uh, the people that aren't The Bar. The people the, that the aren't non, the, the bar. non-bar. So you're going with the Shield Jordan. Yeah. All right. Jordan. Yeah, I'm going to go with... Um, I, I don't think they're going to keep this tag team going for too long. I'm going to go with uh, Cesaro and Sheamus on this one, just because the Shield... Uh, not the Shield. Uh, Seth Rollins and Jason Jordan should not be together that long. It's, it's road to WrestleMania starting now. Um, they got some serious tag teams that they can kind of contend with, so let them do their own thing and start a feud, but I'm going with uh, the bar on this one. Um the women's title will be on the line as Alexa Bliss takes on who the hell is she fighting? Uh, Enzo Amore. I keep getting these Enzo Amore alerts. Charlotte, I don't know. No, you know what? I don't. I got to be honest with you. I don't even remember. Oh, is Alexa? Is anybody even fighting Alexa Bliss at this point? I'm trying to think if Charlotte's even fighting anybody. I don't know. Um, I think everybody actually is in the Royal Rumble except for those two women. So. Right. Uh, Okay, well, what about the Women's Rumble? Who can you see winning this Women's Royal Rumble match and why? There are only a few competitors. Um, There are some rumors. Uh, Only one can win and challenge one of the champions at WrestleMania. Who will it be? Uh, I'll give you a who, but not a why. Um, Let's go. uh, Let me see. I like Asuka. 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 Almost like Oscar. I gotta be honest with you, I'm going all the way out on a limb on this one. The winner of the Women's Royal Rumble Teddy this year Long. will be Ronda Rousey. Holy crap, that would be good. That would be good. There are some returning girls coming. I heard Molly Holly is signed. Any one of the girls I mentioned that are gonna be on the show tonight may be in this Royal Rumble. Um, it makes a lot of sense. I've, I've heard for a long time they wanna do uh, Ronda versus Charlotte. Charlotte is the champion yeah. on SmackDown. Um, she wins the Royal Rumble. She can pick anybody she wants to fight. She's been training with the Brian Kendrick. So I think she's going to come out and she's going to surprise everybody. Everybody's going to go nuts. Yeah. And she's going to win the damn thing. She'll probably toss hey, out Oscar or somebody else late I in the match. She's always having being spotted having lunch with Triple H. Yeah, well, so, she was you know. even recently, um, just as recent as last week. So that is my off the wall prediction. That is, that is a good one, actually. Um, the men's uh, championship will be defended in a triple threat match, and that will be. Uh, Brock Lesnar, Kane, and Braun Strowman. Who takes it? <laughs> Mojo Rally. <laughs> uh, let, let's say Braun Strowman. Braun, I'm going with Braun too, and it's you, only you based me. only based on what I've heard. If I, if I ever saw that, I would go with Brock. But since we've seen kind of a picture of Braun already holding the championship, yeah. I'm going to go with Braun. Doesn't mean that I think that the main event will change because Lesnar can win it back at the Elimination Chamber, and which is probably what will happen. Because um, the coronation for Reigns is definitely going to happen at some point, so whatever. Um, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens versus AJ Styles for the WWE Championship. What happens? Uh, that's right. This is a handicap match. It is. Uh, I'm just going to say AJ. I'm going to go. Just I'm going to go with AJ as well, and that's because uh, Kevin Owens or Sami Zayn won't be going into WrestleMania as champion. AJ Styles will. I don't see them taking the belt off him. All the cards are stacked against him as well, which is why he'll win. The Men's Royal Rumble. What do you think happens in this one? Clearly, they've, they've announced a bunch of guys. Oh, there will yeah. be some surprises, I'm sure. Uh, who, who do you think takes this home? I think uh, Daniel Bryan's doctor, Dr. Daniel. <laughs> 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 Dr. Da- Dr. Daniels will... Uh, Dr. Daniels. Dr. Jack Daniels will actually clear him. He could be involved. <laughs> yeah. And he'll win somehow. I 
you know, Daniel Bryan would be, I mean, the greatest thing ever. If he was to come out, I'm not sure there could be anything that would make a bigger ovation. If, oh, he, yeah. if he came out as one of the participants and his music played, people would lose their mind, including me. Um, <laughs> however, I think, I think it's pretty set in stone right now. Um, I think it's going to be Shinsuke because I think for a long period of time they've been wanting to do this setup now with AJ and Shinsuke. They haven't really done a whole lot with Shinsuke since he's been here. Certainly haven't used him to the best of his potential. I think they're going to give him a shot here. They're going to put this dream match on WWE uh, TV instead of in Japan. Um, and they're going to have a match that's going to be unbelievable. I would imagine that Shinsuke even beats uh, AJ for the title at that point. Maybe they turn AJ heel, maybe they do a face versus face, who knows. But my prediction is Shinsuke Nakamura to win the Royal Rumble, and you've heard yes. it first. Any words of wisdom, um, or you uh, just anything about any, being anything, back? Anything, it's good to be back, and if I have to leave you guys with something, you know, in our write-up here, it says uh, Strowman Champ, question mark. When I saw it really quickly, I thought it said Strowman Camp. So I thought that was oh, that's the greatest. Listen, we can camp we can ever. make that happen, man. We can get him to um, have a summer camp for kids. Get in the canoe. Get <laughs> <laughs> make crafts. Make me a sandwich. Hi, parents. I'm. <laughs> Hi, parents. <laughs> I'm Braun. <laughs> we lost service there for a little while. We uh, we don't know what happened there. Braun Strowman. I think I lost my hair. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, uh, well, there you have it, guys. Another week in the books. We're back. So um, you, you have no fear. We will not leave you again. Um, we wanted to come back and make this show possible for you on short notice. But we're here. Professor Chewy is back. We're back. Come get some next week when we talk about what happened at the Royal Rumble and what happened on Raw 25. All the things that we just talked about will probably go right down the pooper. And uh, <laughs> we'll have to come back next week and reload with a whole new uh, agenda. So, Professor... Another great episode, my friend. Until we meet again next friend. week. <laughs> Fine. What, uh, my acquaintance. My uh, colleague. Anyway, enjoy Raw 25. Enjoy the Royal Rumble. We'll see you next week here on Come Get Some.